Cedar Heights. Today is Friday, January 29th. This is an A day. That means you'll attend periods one, three, and five. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cedar Heights, it is going to be a really good day and a good weekend. Hey, uh, two birthdays today. Happy birthday to Kevin Graff and Nikolai Shemansky. We are very excited it's your birthday. Hope you do something fun today. Over the weekend, it is the birthday of Grace Smith, Adriana Binder, Isaac Carlson, and Rowan Hall. Happy birthday. Hope you do something fun over the weekend. Mr. Duarte and Mrs. Flint, why do mummies not like going on vacation? I like going on vacation. I don't know why. I don't know why. Because they're afraid to relax and unwind. So don't forget, look through those schedules on Monday. This is your exceptional year tip number 14. Kill perfectionism. Perfectionism has killed many dreams. Don't let it kill yours. You've probably learned that making mistakes is bad, but that couldn't be further from the truth. It isn't until you fail and make mistakes that you begin learning what works and what doesn't. In fact, you can't grow without mistakes. Take risks, experience the highs of victory and the lows of defeat, and discover what it truly means to live. Remember, hashtag exceptional year. Okay, thank you for that, Dr. Kane. Hey, so listen, I just wanted you guys to see that today is Friday. I got my shirt. I got my shirt. Anyhow, today's B quote. Today's B quote is uh, via video. Check it out. It has been said that our lives are a reflection of our thoughts. If this is the case, shouldn't we be watching our thoughts with care? And how do those thoughts not only affect ourselves, but the people around us? There's a story of a young boy that walks into a cafe and sits down at a table. A waitress comes over and sets a glass of water down. The boy looks up at her and asks how much an ice cream sundae is. The waitress looks down and tells him it's a dollar. The boy then pulls his hand out of his pocket and looks at a number of coins in it. He again looks up at the waitress. How much is a bowl of just plain ice cream? The boy asks. The waitress now notices people waiting for the table and gets a little impatient. She looks down at the boy and tells him it's 75 cents. The boy then looks at his hand again and examines the coins. He looks back up to the waitress and he says, I'll just take a plain bowl of ice cream then. The waitress then comes back with the ice cream in the bill and sets it next to him. The boy finishes his ice cream and takes his bill up to the cashier to pay it. As the waitress comes back over to wipe down the table, she swallows hard at what she saw. Neatly placed next to the ice cream, the boy had left a quarter for her tip. See, the way we look at the world shapes the people we become. These simple acts of kindness teach us lessons for change. We can all learn something from the boy in this story, like his incredible compassion for others and his true desire to work on the person he wants to become. Hey, you know, it just makes you wonder, uh, the small acts of kindness that we do each day will do a ripple, right? So let's continue to be kind to ourselves, be kind to others. This is fun. Thanks, Mr. Dorte. Hey, maybe you need to watch that video again if you missed it. It was so worth it. Remember, we are... Hashtag be kind and we are caring principal communicators. Have a great day and have a great weekend.